Good morning and welcome to St. Mary's Daily Prayer. Today is Wednesday, July 14th, 2021, the memorial of St. Kateri Tekawitha Virgin. And my name is Kevin DePass, and I'm happy to be your leader of prayer this morning. And our readings today are taken from the book of Exodus and the gospel according to Matthew. Let us now begin our celebration in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed be the God of all consolation, who has shown us his great mercy. Blessed be God forever. And let us pray. O God, who desired the Virgin St. Kateri Tekawatha to flower among the American, Native Americans in a life of innocence, grant through her intercession that when all are gathered into your church from every nation, tribe, and tongue, they may magnify you in a single canticle of praise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Exodus. Moses was tending the flock of his father-in-law, Jethro, the priest of Midian. Leading the flock across the desert, he came to Horeb, the mountain of God. There an angel of the Lord appeared to him in fire, flaming out of a bush. As he looked on, he was surprised to see that the bush, though on fire, was not consumed. So Moses decided... I must go over to look at this remarkable sight and see why the bush is not burned. When the Lord saw that he was coming over to look at it more closely, God called out to him from the bush, Moses, Moses. And he answered, Here I am. God said, Come no nearer. Remove the sandals from your feet. For the place where you stand is holy ground. I am the God of your father, he continued, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. The cry of the children of Israel has reached me, and I have truly noted that the Egyptians are oppressing them. Come now, and I will send you to Pharaoh to lead my people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt. But Moses said to God, Who am I that I should go to Pharaoh and lead the children of Israel out of Egypt? And he answered, I will be there with you, and this shall be your proof that it is I who have sent you. When you bring my people out of Egypt, you will worship God on this very mountain. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial psalm, the Lord is kind and merciful. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all my being, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul. The Lord is kind and merciful. He pardons all your iniquities. He heals all your ills. He redeems your life from destruction. He crowns you with kindness and compassion. The Lord is kind and merciful. The Lord secures justice and the rights of all the oppressed. He has made known his ways to Moses and his deeds to the children of Israel. The Lord is kind and merciful. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus explained, I give, you, I give praise to you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. For although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to the childlike. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me, 
by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Let us now bring our cares and our concerns to our Heavenly Father. Please respond, Lord, hear our prayer. For our call to stewardship, that we may use our gifts to benefit those who need our help, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an end to the pandemic, that God will guide us all to curtail the virus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the created world, that we may promote respect for God's creation and cooperate with God's plan as creation is brought to fulfillment, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who need physical or spiritual healing, that God's gracious gifts will give their, give their bodies and minds comfort and wholeness, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for those who have died, that they may be brought into the eternal peace of God's presence through Jesus, who is the resurrection and the life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our own prayers that we now hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we ask these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> Let us now pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. And let us pray. God of mercy, we thank you for the gift of your Son and the road to redemption paid by his sacrifice. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. My friends, go.